Hi guys, LNDR Tom here from LFGC and welcome to another video on the channel. This is a video gameplay and commentary on a game called Remnant from the Ashes. Now this game has been out for quite some time now I believe, um, but me and Chalks were drawn to this uh, one because I purchased it through the uh, current reward scheme that was the same reason that I bought uh, Oli Oli World. Uh, if you've watched that video on my channel, uh, then you would have seen that I wanted to try and spend the £30 to gain 4,000 reward points on the Xbox. This was a game that I was looking at some time ago, but never got round to getting it. It was on a big uh, price drop. I think it was th about £13. So I thought I'd take the hit, buy the game, see what it's like. I knew it was co-op, so I thought, let's go ahead with it, see what happens. Me and Chalks have played now for, well, Chalks has played a lot longer than I have, uh, but we've played together for about maybe three or four hours so far. I'm absolutely loving this game. Um, it's pretty much, to us, it feels like a mix between sort of Outriders and Dark Souls, Elden Ring, that sort of thing. It's a lot of... Uh, guesswork a lot of the time you're going around you're not really knowing what you've got to do it tells you you've got to find the subway entrance but you don't get a waypoint you've got to go around and actually find it uh, so it, it involves a lot more sort of thinking and player skill than a normal game would but to be honest me and Chalks are absolutely loving this I thought I'd share it with you so you could have a proper look at in, into the game. I know it has been out for a while, so if you've probably been interested in it, you've probably already seen it. But just in case there is anyone that subscribes to our channel uh, that does actually want to see any gameplay of it, then I've just put a few clips together, uh, different areas and that. So we'll just go through it now. So for anyone that's played Elden Ring, this is like a sight of grace i suppose this is your checkpoint you sit at this and you'll gain back um your health potions uh well i think they're actually dragon hearts they're called uh it's the ability that you get when you push lb you'll gain those back you'll gain back any uh ammo that you've not um obviously got any more from shooting all your enemies so you want to sit at them um in order to gain back any stuff that you've lost as uh, generally you get a checkpoint before a boss this is a boss battle uh, but i have found that since chalks has started playing his story on his own uh, with his character you still use the same character i believe but you go into your own world now the world is different in everyone's game so i believe the layout is slightly different but even when chalks went to an area that we had been to there was a different boss in that area to what it was when we were playing it. So when you go into someone else's world, the map is slightly different. Whether it's massively different, I'm not sure. Uh, I've only ever actually played this with Chalks on mine. Uh, Chalks might be able to help us in the comments and let us know if the world does look completely different. I don't think it does. But there are different elements to his world, to my world. So if I jumped into his, it would look slightly different to just my world. Now, like on most games, you can pick up your fallen teammates uh, by reviving them on the field. Again, not 100% sure what happens in single player if you go down. I'm assuming you just go straight to a checkpoint um, unless you can pick yourself up. But I don't believe that you can. Again, Chalks might be able to help us out in the comments uh, below if if he has actually been downed during a game because I don't believe you have any teammates when you play on solo. I think it is just you on your own. Now, as you can see, this game is pretty mad with the enemies. It's full on. Um, they come from absolutely everywhere and they can just spawn up from the ground, some of them. So as you can see, Chalks is currently down. Um, I'm probably going to go down while I'm trying to heal. But it does get very hectic and it is really, really difficult to uh, basically get into an area where you can safely pick up your friend like that. So as you can see, it is pretty hectic at times. 
when you're running around in the open world, it's not really as hectic, but certainly when you're on like a boss fight, this sort of thing happens. Now, the things that I do like about this game is that the melee is the same button as when you want to fire, fire a shot from your gun. So basically, the way that melee works is that if you're not aiming down the sights of your gun and you just smash RT or R2, I suppose, if you're on PlayStation, you will just go swinging. Whereas if you look down your sights, you then shoot. So it takes away that need to press a different button to actually swing your melee weapon at someone. Now, some people might not like that. Some people might really like that. I personally really like that. Um, it did get a bit confusing at first, where I would just think, oh, there's an enemy there. Button bash RT to pump out the bullets in my pistol but yeah it um it just starts swinging so it did take some getting used to uh, but once I was used to it then I actually started really enjoying the fact that it was just the same button without having to select the actual weapon itself in a close quarters you can just go out swinging and uh, start hitting the enemies so as you can see on the floor at the moment in this clip, there is a green mist. Now that's my special ability off of my gun, uh, which is a healing ability. You do have to get that charged before you can use it again. And I believe the way that it charges is by using the actual weaponry itself. So if I'm using the shotgun and I use the healing ability with my shotgun um, and I'm pummeling bullets into an enemy, that ability will charge up a lot quicker than it would uh, if I wasn't using the gun. I don't know if it actually does charge when you're not using the weapon and it's just a slow and steady process but I know for a fact that when you are using the weapon it does charge up a lot quicker. So just to go into the menu quickly just to show you you've got a primary and a secondary weapon like in most games you've also got your melee weapon and all your armor set at the bottom You've got an infantry which you can take bandages and uh, healing potions and whatever. You've also got your traits. Now you unlock the traits uh, as you go through and every time you sort of, I don't know if it's like a level up, but you unlock trait points that you can then add to your traits. So we've had quite a few just pop up relatively quickly. I think I've got my uh, health now up to 20, which was an achievement as well. Um, but I think I've got my health up to 20 now so that I ideally last longer on the battlefield because I was dying quite quick, as you've seen in the clip so far. But there are many, many traits that you unlock through the, through the journey on this game. Chalks has a lot more traits than I do at the moment, but you can just upgrade the traits that you wish to upgrade each time uh, you get some of the trait points. So you can just work on one, or you can whack a point on a random one, move on to another one. At the moment, I've uh, worked on um, my health. I think I've gave a bit to stamina. And since uh, this part of the video, um, I've had one for faster reload because my reloading is quite slow with the guns that I've currently got. Although we have now found some faster paced guns um, for reloads and stuff. So yeah, um, as you can see, uh, friendly fire is a thing um, you can't melee each other but you can f shoot each other I found that out the hard way uh, when playing with chalks on a different part of uh, level and I strayed in front of his machine gun and he downed me from it uh, we didn't realise that you could actually get so much uh, weapon damage but yeah it does it depending on the weapon I suppose it can rip through you so you want to try and get out of the way of each other uh, when you're on the battlefield. So I'll speed this bit up for you just so that you get an idea of what the actual open world looks like. But this is what happens when you come outside a dungeon or wherever you are. Uh, at the moment I think we was going for a subway but there's dungeons and what have you on this. So this is the open world. You just run around basically finding different places to, to go. There's a... Uh, what I call them side graces because I'm so used to Elden Ring now but this is one of the checkpoints again you can go up to it place your hand on it 
it's the same as the sitting one. You can then fast travel from uh, this place to different areas of the map. Um, but yeah, you want to try and grab as many checkpoints as you can. But this is the open world part where you literally have freedom just to run around until you find an area that you need to go into. So this guy here is a merchant, one of many merchants on this game. As with most games, you've obviously got merchants, shops, whatever, uh, that you can buy certain items from. So this is just one of those guys that you can just buy some items from. The thing I quite like with this game, and I know some games are similar to this, uh, but some are a bit lazy, that when you go into new areas, you do normally come up against sort of similar or the same enemy. Uh, whereas this game seems like every time we go into a new area, a different breed of enemy is here, uh, which is just a nice, a nice change. Uh, these boxes um, come up with things like scrap and iron uh, that you use uh, for like crafting or um, monetary values selling selling stuff uh, but you pick this up the one thing i do like with this game though is if chalks picks it up gives it to me as well so it means that you're not losing out where you're rushing around and someone's grabbing it and taking all the scrap metal or the iron uh, that you you actually need yourself when you pick it up uh, you do both get it now i don't know if you was playing on single player or if you get double the amount and when you're playing on co-op it's half so you get half each not 100% sure on that uh, but I do like the fact that you can actually uh, just have one of you pick stuff up the only thing that I've found so far that if I pick up Chalks doesn't get is uh, uh, ammo so that red um, bit that was on the floor just then was my ammo for my primary weapon now, if I pick that up, that doesn't give Chalks any bullets. Uh, it is just the sort of iron and uh, scrap metal that does actually uh, share as such, whereas the ammo is all on your own. So there's been times where I've needed ammo and I've seen some in front of me and Chalks has run ahead and grabbed it by mistake because I've not told him that I've needed it, but it's then disappeared off the map. So as you can see, that red... That red uh, icon in front of us is the ammo uh, that I use for my gun. Now, these sort of things are, um, again, things that pop, pop up for both of us. So if I pick that um, blue item up, that gives it to me and Chalks. It does seem like it is only the ammo that doesn't share, which isn't a problem. Um, but when I pick something up, it does pop up on Chalks' screen that he's also picked up 18 scrap or whatever the amounts are that we've actually picked up all in all with this game i would highly recommend it uh, i don't know if i would enjoy it so much in single player i am a massive co-op fan though uh, so if you do like your single player games then there's probably no reason why you wouldn't like this in single player but i just uh, much prefer games in co-op playing with a friend I believe it is three player co-op although I haven't tried it in more than two player but I believe that when I bought it I did see that it said three player co-op. Um, I would say that although it is an old game or older game give it a go I, I actually really like it um, obviously I'm showing you some different bits of gameplay throughout the game um, but I would I would highly recommend it and like I say if you've got a co-op buddy uh, that you like shooting, uh, shooting games with, um, then I would say that this is probably a, a solid game for you to pick up, especially if it's still in the cell at the moment. I believe it did go on Game Pass at one point, uh, but it's not on there anymore. Uh, so yeah, I think it's £13 at the moment on the Xbox Store, but that, if it is still there, uh, because I believe the cell was ending. So I would highly recommend picking this game up. Uh, if you've liked this video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. We are still trying to push for that first 100 subs. We are getting there at 78, uh, but we're not quite there yet. So if you are able to help us out, then hit that subscribe button. 
get us to our first 100 subs and we'll try and bring you as much content on new games new games for us that are older like this and obviously we'll continue bringing the FIFA videos which is the uh, main part of our channel so I hope you all have a wonderful day and happy gaming